Hi, welcome to another episode of Hardware Zone TV. If you have read our review of the Apple Watch, you'll find that it's not for everyone. I have the watch for about a week now, and here are the things that I find useful about the Apple Watch. Okay, Apple doesn't really advertise this feature, but the Apple Watch actually works quite well with CarPlay. So one thing I like to do is, I like to get directions on my Apple Watch first before I head into the car. Hey CV, how do I get to Orchard Road? Okay, the Ikka Entertainment System takes some time to boot up, but because I already got directions on my Apple Watch, I will be able to get directions on CarPlay much faster. One of the really cool things that I like about the Apple Watch is how you can actually take calls on the watch and then hand it off to your phone. I have a call coming on my watch now. I'm going to take it. Hey, hello. I'm going to hand it over to my phone right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still on the line. You say you want to do chicken rice? Okay then, let's do chicken rice. I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye. And that's how you can hand calls from your watch over to the phone. Okay, another cool thing that I like about the Apple Watch is this new feature called Digital Touch, which opens up new ways to keep in touch with your close friends and your loved ones. I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do with the Apple Watch right now. Simply press on the button by the side of the watch and it will bring up the contact list, which you can scroll through. And for contacts that also have the Apple Watch, what you will see is this little icon down here. Simply tap on it and you can do things like uh, sketch pictures to them. You can also send tabs to them. And if you hold down with two fingers, you can send your heartbeat to them. Another really useful feature about the Apple Watch is its workout apps. But before we go to the gym, it's time to change some straps. So it's really easy to change the strap on the Apple Watch. Just simply uh, press on the button here and you can slide the strap out of the case. And you do the same for the other end. Go on to the button here. And then once you remove your existing strap, you just slide the new one in, into the case like so. And there you go. It's almost like a new watch. The Apple Watch is also great for tracking your workouts. There's a workout app and it has various modes for tracking your workouts. The app can track various exercises as you can see here, such as outdoor walk, run and cycle and also uh, various indoor exercises. You can even track your exercises on a machine such such as the stair stepper, cross trainer and even the rower like what I was doing just now. Clicking on one of the modes will bring you to this screen where you can set your, your goals and your targets. You can even go with an open goal like uh, what you see here. Otherwise you can set a time that you want to do the exercise for or set the amount of calories that you wish to burn. Once the workout app starts, it will start tracking uh, your heart rate as well as the calories that you have burned and the time that you have been doing exercise. But the thing I like best about the Apple Watch is its customizable watch faces. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite watch faces right now. Uh, this watch face here is called modular and I like to use this for work because you can customize it to show uh, many information. Right now I have it customized to show the time and the date as well as the weather outside, my activity level and also the second time zone. And right here in the middle, you can see uh, my second appointment. To customize the watch face, simply hold on to the screen and to activate a force touch. And just tap right down here. And you can see all the, all the elements that are highlighted in green can be customized. So let's like say in the middle right now, uh, it's showing the calendar. But I can also change it to show other things such as uh, the moon phase, uh, sunrise and sunset times uh, and things like that. 
all these other things here can also be customized to show other things. Uh, like so, right now I can make it uh, show the stocks and yeah, sunrise, sunset time, moon faces, things like that. And uh, other watch faces that I really like uh, are the astronomy one, uh, which I'll show you right now. What astronomy does is it shows you your position on the globe as well as the day and night cycles. Uh, you can scroll with the crown here to see what the day and night cycles will be like. And uh, in the bottom left corner here, you just tap this, you will see the moon face. And on the bottom right corner here, when you tap, you can see the position of, of Earth in the solar system. Scrolling with the digital, digital crown will let you see the positions of all the various planets for up to uh, a year. And another watch face that is really popular is of course a uh, Mickey. Now the cool thing about Mickey is that the tapping uh, of, his, of his feet is actually synchronized to the seconds. So what happens if you have multiple Apple watches lined up and if they are all showing Mickey, what you will actually see is that all of them will be tapping at the same time. And those are some of my favorite features of the Apple Watch and some of the ways that I use the Apple Watch. Until next time, uh, be sure to check out our review of the Apple Watch. This is Kenny from Hardware Zone. See you guys.